Well, it's been a mild evening here in West Michigan. It'll remain that way. Temperatures are not expected to cool down a ton here overnight tonight. We're at 61 in Grand Rapids, and we're about 40 minutes away from sunset here. At the end of February, very mild. 51 in Big Rapids, a little cooler there. That southwest wind not as prevalent north of I-96, but 67 right now in Benton Harbor. There's the wind. The area is at times gusting upwards of 25 miles per hour out of the south southeast. Big Rapids, uh, Greenville area, meanwhile, just a 5 to 10 mile per hour wind, not nearly as strong. And you can see that with dew points too, drier air, colder air to the north and getting a little more moderate off to the south. We'll see these dew points get into the 50s tomorrow, which does show how much moisture is in the atmosphere. If it got into the 60s, the severe weather threat would be a little bit more, but we're not going to have as much moisture to work with as we typically would in a spring to summer severe event. Obviously in February, it's bound to happen. So some high clouds on the horizon going to impact the perfect view of the sunset, but we'll still be able to catch a glimpse pretty much everywhere in West Michigan, a nice evening ahead. And those are just passing clouds, but they are starting to envelop a little bit more. We'll see these take over to mostly cloudy skies for most of the overnight and leave with it isolated shower and storm chances as most of the moisture tracks to the north. So tonight, uh, marginal risk, very light, Kalamazoo, Ionia off to the south and east. I think the greater threat will be out towards the Jackson area. And you can see on future track as we get into the early hours, isolated shower chances, but we are not looking at the storm potential really until you get to the southeast side of the state. When we start the morning with mild temperatures, we'll clear out, dry out through the afternoon, a little sunshine. That'll set us up for some instability. And depending on the exact timing of these storms, we could see some strong, maybe even severe with wind and hail mixing into that as well. Uh, some models show it around 8, 9 o'clock, others around 10 o'clock. Nonetheless, slight risk from St. Louis all the way up into the southern half of the lower peninsula, uh, Muskegon, Greenville off to the south. So that is our second wave, and with that is Tuesday night. Wednesday, it transitions over to snow. We'll see rain to snow falling temperatures through the day. We'll quiet things down into at least the first half of the weekend. So now we pick future track back up. Storms roll through late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Notice where temperatures go. Back to the 20s, we could see a 50 degree swing here between Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon. Pair that with some snow and a strong wind, it may feel like the upper teens in some spots as well. We do rebound nicely though, back to 40s by Friday and sunshine paired with that as well. It will be back to the 60s by we, the first full week of March, eight to 14 day outlook. It's still holding us in those mild temperatures. Average high into the early part of March is in the low 40s, around 43 degrees. So still trending warmer than that. These 50s and 60s might be the new normal into the third month of the year.